The person who got me involved was my mom. She said, you're going to the science program. There's no textbook. You are able to explore what you want. I had questions. What kind of people work on the space shuttles? Who made this possible? I always knew I loved science. I just didn't know how to get there. And coming here has truly been the gateway. The mission of the California Science Center is to stimulate curiosity and inspire science learning in everyone. We do that by creating fun, memorable experiences. It's important to provide free admission because it allows everyone to access high quality science learning. The Science Center has tremendous resources, exhibits, and programs that remove barriers for students, families, and visitors to participate. Public programs are programs like our Hands-On Science Camp, where we have 4,000 to 5,000 kids who come in through the summer. We offer scholarships for 20 to 30 percent of the students. It's great for kids to really do science, and for a student for the first time, it's just an incredible opportunity. I came here as a student and as a kid. I'm Reggie Williams. I am a science teacher for sixth and seventh grade in Houston, Texas. The science center was just a few miles away from where I grew up. And that's where I started to build my love of science. It was fifth grade and we were excited to come. I've been connected to the science center since I was 10 years old. My name is Claudia Pineda. I am currently a flight test engineer at Boeing. I was a curious kid but I wasn't directed towards anything at the time. When I got to the Science Center, I was taught the actual application of how science is around us in the world, and that's when it gave my curiosity more direction. Science isn't pushed within K through 12 education, so the thing that kept me coming back was really the environment of learning. And then as a teen, I started doing the teen internship program. There is a whole community of teens here. We work in various exhibits. We do shows in front of groups. No day looks the same. My name is Delilah Torres, and I'm a community team intern. I've been coming here since I was a baby. I grew up with a single mother from an immigrant household. We applied for a scholarship, and I was able to attend camp from kindergarten to eighth grade. I then matriculated into the Young Curators program, and now this internship. We do activities, we do experiments, where we get the best reactions. My name is Saul Uriel Lopez, and this is my second year as an intern here at the California Science Center. When I first came here, my confidence was so low, I could not even look people in the eye. But you're actually placed on the floor where you have to talk to people, and you have to grow and be greater than yourself. Great job, scientists. Growing up, I had no guidance towards what I had to do to become successful in the science field, and the Science Center has truly been the first step towards a professional career. For students who have limited access to science learning, this is where they get inspired to pursue a career in a STEM field, and it changes their life. I think of who I was when I started the California Science Center and who I am today. It's like two different worlds. Something that they told us here when we were interns was your science communicators. And I've tried to take a lot of what I've learned here into my classroom to really push that hands-on learning. A lot of my academic choices and personal choices revolved around this place. If I didn't come to the Science Center, I don't know where I would be. You don't know how your life is going to change, but it starts with the first step. Feel free to raise your hand. I was terrified to become an intern. I hadn't had very much science, so I felt really underqualified. I didn't think that I deserved to be here, but then I embraced the change. I embraced what was scary, and now I've learned that I have a role not only in the museum, but in STEM. Every time that I come back to the Science Center, no matter how long it's been, it just feels like home. It's home to me. Last time I was here was before the new construction. Didn't know what to expect, and I'm surprised. The Samuel Ocean Air and Space Center, it's our largest project yet, and will feature Endeavor standing 20 stories tall, this will really be a teaching and learning experience. There's no question what this is going to do for children and young adults, for everybody. Every day I see them place a little bit more and a little bit more. It's truly inspiring. I don't think there's anything out there that will have as meaningful an impact. We draw a huge and diverse audience. Two million visitors a year wanting to learn more science, but we still have more to raise to continue our educational mission. We're not done yet. When you look at the California Science Center, you can see the stages of growth. And as the Science Center grew, I also grew with it. I'm looking forward to this next stage. I'm excited.